What's up guys, my name is Devin and welcome back to another episode of Footballers. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing and reviewing the Grip Boost Stealth 6.0 receiver gloves. All right, guys, so here's what we're going to be talking about today. Again, these are the Grip Boost Stealth 6.0 receiver gloves. Grip Boost was kind enough to send us every single colorway they got. So let's get into this unboxing and review. They sent every single colorway they have. We're going to go through all of them. I'm not going to open every single pair, obviously, but we will take a peek. All right, so now I got to pick a color for the unboxing. And you guys know, if you guys watch the channel, I love gray football gloves and these are a nice gray silver. So I think these are going to be the ones I choose to test and take a look at in today's video. So let's do that. So up first, Grip Boost Stealth 6.0 Boost Plus Pro Receiver Gloves. Number one grip in football. These are a size medium. And again, this is a beautiful silver colorway. Let's take a look at the back. Number one grip in football made with lightweight material for comfort and better feel. Adjust to fit flexible wristband designed for a personalized and secure fit. The palm is infused with Boost Plus technology for a strong hold grip. Pinky finger support with added silicone wrap meets all the standards and they have an added player tag for some personal identification. Then they give you a nice little silhouette of the glove kind of calling out to some of those specific details and it looks pretty darn good. Let's get it off of the cardboard and take a look. All right, guys, so I finally got them off of that piece of cardboard. It took quite a while, but they are off. So here they are. These are the new Gripu Stealth 6.0. So first impression, there is a lot going on in this glove. There's a lot of different materials, a lot of different overlays, a lot of different details. So let's kind of dive into the back of hand. First thing I'm noticing right here is this material right here. I don't know if we've seen this on any Grip Boost gloves yet, but I like it. It's strong, it's pretty thin, and it's pretty durable as well. Like I'm really tearing on it and it does not seem to be giving in any way. And it kind of runs through all the fingers here. You guys can see it goes up each one and you have some overlays we'll talk about in a bit. And then down here, you kind of have this big over the back of hand strap, which has this nice neoprene bit here. It's a little bit different than the traditional neoprene. Yeah, it's kind of like a, a thinner foam backed. I don't know. I mean, neoprene is foam, but I'm not really sure what it is. Pretty cool though, kind of like it. And then you have this material here. Let's see if it's actually any different. So it's not a different material. It's the same material just with some um, overlays kind of going through it. Then you can also see that the actual grip of the glove overlays in a lot of different spots, like it's rolled over. You see it here, up at the pinky, a, a couple spots on the finger, and then of course along the thumb. So this is probably the most I've in right here. This is probably the most I've ever seen like this much of the palm overlay onto the front, the back of a glove. So that's kind of cool. Next thing I'm noticing is that the strap, it has this cool stealth branding. It's a nice thick rubber strap. It does have a little hole in there. Not sure if that's for ventilation or just design. You guys can actually see where it kind of sews in. Usually you don't want to see stuff like this. We'll see how this material kind of pushes up against your skin. That, that kind of stuff, leftover material can be kind of irritating. And then also look at the cuts on this neoprene. Not a perfect cut, but we'll see how it feels probably doesn't make too much of a difference, but you know, we cover everything around here. So in between the fingers, you get a mixture of what appears to just be the grip material kind of in between, and then the same material that's on the back of hand. So you get that pretty much through all the fingers. And then on the pinky, you get a pinky wrap. We kind of talked about that a little bit. We've seen a lot of brands doing that lately. And then same deal with the thumb, this nice thicker material here, and then some overlays. As far as design, you get some cool stuff. You get these neat little lines going off the pinky and then up the finger as well. And then you get a little grip boost signage right here with this sparkly silver metallic, whatever you want to call it. Um, and then you get a little plus detail. So a lot of this glove seems to be talking about their new Boost Plus, which is something we'll talk about when we talk about the palm. But you get a big old grip boost logo here on the side, which is very nice as well. And then inside the glove, you get the tag grip boost medium. And then you do get a little jock tag here with two words, a grip boost, size medium, player name, and then you get a little Tyree Kill peace sign. Of course, Tyree Kill is one of the owners, I believe, of Grip Boost, so he's heavily involved in their gloves, of course, and of course, he wears them every Sunday. So I guess it's time to talk about the palm. So this is their new Boost Plus palm. I'm not sure what makes it different. I'll do my research before the full review. You do get a little Boost Plus reminder there on the pinky, and then all of these little plus signs throughout. I think they do that for all the colorways, yeah, you guys see the pluses here on the blue pair. Let me just grab, oh, this is a cool colorway. It's a, uh, it looks to be a crucial catch color if I were to guess, cause it's got a little crucial catch strip. This is a pretty cool colorway. Oh yeah, you can kind of see it. I gotta, I should open them all up, but we'll see. Yeah, so it feels pretty sticky right away. And then, like I mentioned, it's got all these different overlays kind of rolling over. Um, it's actually not a true rollover because I mean, there's a seam, but it is the same material. So that's good. 
and then this is a true rollover on the index finger in two different places. So basically when these companies roll over the material, it just gives you a little bit more catching surface area. So you have more grip on the football, which should help you reel in more passes. And then you get a little bit of a pinky wrap on the pinky. It doesn't go all the way down like we've seen on some Nike stuff, um, but it still gives you a little bit more surface area. And then it carries down here too, which I really like. This is really cool. So next I'm gonna try the glove on, see kind of how it feels, first impression. So far, so good. Grip boost gloves are usually super duper tight. This one didn't feel super tight to get on, but it does fit like a glove, pun intended. Feels pretty good. Um, I do feel a little bit of the material bunching. You guys can kind of see that, but not too bad. There's not a ton of room for ventilation. I mean, we'll see how this material ventilates, but there's no holes anywhere, really. There's some kind of in the neoprene, but you're not gonna feel that. And then, let me strap it. Ooh, kind of weird to strap. You get, I mean, the natural hole that, that gets created right there. It's really tight right here on the thumb where that overlay is. Like, I can't even move it at all, which I guess is what you kind of want. But it does feel extremely tight. This silver is awesome, by the way. I love this color. Um, I'll probably do this one for the review. I might pull another one out just because they have so many really cool colorways. I'll, I'll run through the colorways before the end of the unboxing just to show you guys. And then again in the review, but hmm, not too bad. Like I said, no ventilation holes. You know, this material, This basically this whole glove is gonna come down to how this material acts. If it breathes well, if it's flexible, and so far it is not the lightest feeling glove in the world, but definitely not that bad. But there's definitely kind of a lot going on here. I feel like there's just a ton, ton of details, ton of overlays, just a lot going on here, which I don't know, that could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. I guess we'll see. Um, I did talk a little bit about how this material is kind of like cut weirdly but I don't really feel it at all. But yeah, let me run through these colorways real quick and then we'll get into the review. Today's video is sponsored by Prolific Sports Labs and the makers of the NXT Foot Guard 2.0. Now we already made a video about the Foot Guard 2.0, so if you wanna learn more about this product, definitely check that out first. Getting your foot stepped on by teammates in practice absolutely sucks. I was a lineman for 10 years and I lost six toenails from guys just stepping on my feet in practice. And foot injuries are super common in all positions across football, but especially linemen. Well, this is the NXT Foot Guard 2.0 and it aims to solve that problem. It's a high quality product made of two carbon fiber plates sandwiched between a nice cushiony foam against your foot and a thick, dense foam on the top that helps absorb the impact from cleats. The NXT Foot Guard 2.0 uses two straps, one around your heel and one underneath your arch to secure this plate to any type of cleat. It works with skill cleats, high top cleats, and mid top cleats. It comes in white and black and multiple different sizes depending on what size cleats you have. When it gets dirty, just pop the pad out, make sure to hand wash it, air dry it, pop the pad back in, and you're good to go. There's no reason to risk foot injuries in practice and that's why you should check out the NXT Foot Guard 2.0. To learn more, you can watch our full video where we explain more or just check out the links in the description down below for Prolific Sports Labs website. All right, back to the video. So this is their Crucial Catch colorway, pretty cool. This appears to just be a white on white, nice little purple colorway, white on orange. I'm sure we'll see Tyree Kill pull these out at some point. They do have the cheetah print peace sign, standard black on black there, nice royal blue colorway here. We have this super hot pink. This is gonna be perfect for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Also have a red pair, white and blue pair, this, I believe, is the Cam Newton pair. So this is kind of a Cam Newton player exclusive edition. You can see the C1N logo kind of on the palm. Even though Cam Newton's a quarterback and doesn't really wear gloves, still kind of a cool collab. Then we got this yellow pair. This is one of my favorites. I always love yellow gloves as well. This is a white pair with the gray cheetah print peace sign. You kind of have this nice light blue. I like this colorway a lot. Then you have a white and aqua pair. Again, this is going to be perfect for Tyree Kill with the Dolphins. Then you have a white and neon green pair. This one also has the cheetah piece sign on there as well. This one is a white and red, looks pretty good. And then last but certainly not least, we have a black and gold colorway. All right, so that's all the different colorways. I think I'm just gonna keep using the gray ones for the review, but I might switch it up, we'll see. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the full review in two seconds. Now that you guys have watched the full unboxing, let's get into the official review. Here's the stuff we're gonna look at. We're gonna take a look at the fit, the comfort, the grip, the protection, the style, what position these gloves are best for, and of course, the price. The first thing we're gonna talk about is the fit. Like most Grip Boost gloves, these fit great. The material in the back of hand is different from anything I've ever seen before on any football glove. It's a thicker, compressive material that feels really good on the back of hand. The material itself doesn't stretch too much, but it moves enough to give you a pretty solid fit. And that material runs throughout the back of hand, down all the fingers, and even between the fingers. The thumb, which is a crucial point for a good fitting glove, is where this glove fits tightest for me personally. Of course, everyone's hands are a little bit different, but the thumb was super tight for me, and then the fingers were a little bit looser, but still pretty tight all the way throughout. They did also use some of the grip in between the fingers as well, 
well. So that's going to give the glove a little bit of added stability and keep the fingers from rolling around too much as you catch the rock. These also have this kind of unique over the back hand strap and they used a thin layer of neoprene with the Velcro, which feels really good as well. When you strap them up, they fit nice and secure, but if you leave them unstrapped, they're still pretty tight fitting and secure. So you can go either way with these. Overall, they feel like most other group boost gloves, nice and tight and secure all the way around. The next thing we'll talk about is the comfort. The comfort on these is also pretty good. The back of hand material we just talked about also feels really good on the inside. I was concerned with some of those inside pieces being a little bit uncomfortable, but I didn't notice anything during my testing process. There was a tiny bit of material bunching up in the fingers when making a fist, but that seems to happen with most gloves we test. And again, that thumb portion was just a little bit tight for me, but some of you guys might like that. Everybody has different sized hands, so it's going to fit everybody just a little bit differently. The main issue I had with these comfort wise is that there is just no ventilation throughout the entire glove. The material they use for the back of hand is thick, it's tight knit, and it doesn't really allow any air to escape whatsoever. The only true ventilation holes these have are these tiny little holes in between the fingers, and it just, it gets hot in this glove really quickly. The only way I was able to keep from sweating through the glove entirely was to leave them unstrapped to get a little bit of air just kind of in here up the back of hand. Speaking of the strap, the neoprene cuff is nice, and the Velcro strap is as good as any other ones out there. Nice and secure, fits well, feels comfortable. The over the back of hand strap is interesting, but it does give you a little bit more freedom in your wrist, which is always nice for skill gloves if you like that stuff. Overall, they're pretty cozy all around, but they don't ventilate that well so definitely keep that in mind the next thing we're talking about is the grip the grip on these is simply some of the best we've tested all year there's a reason that their name is grip boost these have their new boost plus palms which are super duper sticky these also have really good ball feel due to how thin the palm material is and then another key factor is something we talked about in the unboxing it's all their grip material rollover for that increased surface catching area the palm grip overlays all over the place they have some on the index finger in two places on the pinky on the thumb, and then lastly, on the actual inside side of your palm. With all these rollovers and extra material, there's tons of surface area to help you get grip on the ball and reel in more passes. These are some of the stickiest palms we've tested this year in rival Nike's Manager Plus as the best grip on the market. Overall, the combination of good ball feel, boost plus, and tons of different catching surface area makes these some of the best gripping football gloves on the market. The next thing we're gonna talk about is protection, and these are a skill glove, so there's really no padding or anything, so you're not gonna get a lot of protection with these, so if you're looking for a glove that's gonna protect the back of your hands, Look elsewhere. The next thing we're going to talk about is the style. I've honestly had a tough time kind of deciding how I feel about the design on these. There's a ton of stuff going on on the back of hand and it's kind of visually overwhelming. They have tons of small details like the boost plus on the pinky, the little plus signs all over the palm, the big GB logo on the back of hand, and then the stealth branding on the strap. The best thing about these style-wise is easily the colorways. As you guys saw in the unboxing, these come in just about every single colorway you can imagine. And some of the pairs have that Tyree Kill touch, which has his little signature piece sign on the palm just to flex on everybody as you're on your way to the end zone. Overall, for me, these are a little bit too loud design-wise, but they have some of the best colorways on the entire market. So if you guys are looking for crazy colorways or something to match your weird team, these are them. Next thing we're gonna talk about is what position these gloves are for. These are a skill football glove all the way. They're on the lighter side and they have no padding whatsoever. And they also have that over the back of hand Hand style closer for wrist freedom, which is a characteristic of a receiver glove. These are going to be great for running backs, wide receivers, and defensive backs, or anybody else who just wants a skill football glove. The next thing we're going to talk about is the price. The retail on these is 48 bucks. 48 bucks is slightly below the usual price for a receiver glove, and these feel extremely solid. The back of hand material is extremely tough and the overlays give these gloves a lots of extra support and durability. They just appear to be durable all the way throughout and 48 bucks is a great deal for a glove like that that should last you all season long. This is a lot of glove for that $48 price point and definitely a good deal. Overall, these are simply a good pair of football gloves, maybe even a great pair. They have a nice compressive fit. They feel pretty comfortable and the grip on them is simply some of the best in the game. I do wish the material breathed a little bit better so it didn't get so hot in here, but overall I'm pretty happy with them. They're a good receiver glove for 48 bucks and one of the best options on the market for all you skill guys out there. There you go guys have it there's a full unboxing review on the grip boost self 6.0 receiver gloves hope you guys did enjoy this video if you did like the video comment what you guys want to see us review next time and subscribe for more videos just like this one my name is devin and thank you guys so much for tuning into another episode of footballers Bye.